Hi, I'm Pavel Spichalski and after I published the video when I tried to connect two motors to one ESC, a few people asked the question, but what would happen if we would do the opposite? Uh, by the opposite, use two ESCs to drive one motor. Because if you take two 30 amp ESCs, you can have one 60 amp ESC, right? Right, well, um, probably not really. So, um, probably the simplest way to tell you what happens when you try to connect two ESCs in parallel to one of the motor is just to make the experiment. Uh, bear in mind, this is the first time I'm really launching this and I have no bloody idea what might be the result of the experiment. But the experiment is relatively simple. I have the motor and all the phases from the motors are parallel to two identical ESCs, those are a few years old, just 30 amps. And then the signal wires from the ESCs are one more time connected in parallel to one of the outputs on the flight controller that will be driving in the ESCs. And what we're gonna do right now is, well, to just see what happens when you try to be so creative. Let me set the focus point again so we clearly see what's happening. Let me put the safety glasses because I really do expect we might see some magic smoke. And let's power this thing up. I'm not sure if you were able to hear the motor beeping, but this was definitely not the clear motor beeping. Uh, it was like something was breaking one of the phases was off or something like that. But I think it's really time to start spinning the motor. So I have the configurator open over there. And let me in... Ah. Okay. Okay, so this definitely is not working like expected and something is going wrong and definitely both of the ESCs are not able to come up a single solution of how to drive the motors. The, oh, the ESCs are hot, the motor is kinda cold. My, I have a suspicion, I have a suspicion, wait a second. My suspicion is that I got the phases wrong on the ESCs and one ESC tries to rotate the motor counterclockwise and the second one tries to rotate it counterclockwise and as the result, well, they just do not work. Let me only measure the temperature on the ESCs, 40 degrees, 40 degrees, but they are definitely too hot for just a second uh, of applying some of the electricity yeah and now one more time hot definitely hot so what i will do right now i cannot connect to bill heli right now to work with them independently i will just take the soldering iron and i will replace on one of the esc two wires so that the phases will be off and that both i Hopefully, both ESCs will try to rotate the motor in the same direction. And then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, soldering done. I replaced those, uh, swapped those two wires on one of those ESCs. That means that hopefully right now both ESCs will try to rotate the motor in the same direction. So one more time, safety goggles, because maybe previously was the best case scenario, now it will be worse. Let me plug in the power to the... Okay, the motor is... I'm not, I'm not sure if you can hear it from my love microphone, but the motor got much louder than before. And... Uh, well, I'm kind of scared of what I will do right now. Contact! No, uh, it's not really helping much. Uh, even after replacing the phases on one of the ESCs, it's not really helping. Uh, this thing still does not want to rotate. Oh, and now the ESCs are really, really, really getting hot. This one is already 60 degrees Celsius. And this one is also 60 degrees Celsius. So apparently, previously, the ESCs were trying to drive the motor in the, the same direction. Now they just go into the constant short circuit. 
So kids, what have we learned today? Technically, it is possible to connect two ESCs in parallel between one signal, or one signal source from the flight controller and a single brushless motor in the way that both ESCs receive exactly the same signal and try to drive one motor because nothing is really holding you back from soldering the wires in the way that the ESCs are connected in the parallel. However, in the real life it's just not working. No matter what we tried, no matter with directions of the rotations from both of the ESCs, the motor was in both cases stuttering. Sometimes it was starting but then it was slowing down because the other ESC was interacting with the one that actually got higher priority. Probably, that's my theory. However, in both of the cases, the ESCs were overheating because the current was going not directly from the ESC to the motor, but a lot of the current was just directed to the ground through the other ESCs. Why? Because the PWM pulses on the outputs were not truly really synchronized. When one uh, ESC was driving one phase uh, low and the second was driving high, then just there was a short sword circuit and no current was really going to the motors. Only in the brief periods of time when the PWN signals were really synchronized and both gates on both ESCs were opening in exactly the same time, only then the motor was slightly, slightly able to turn. But then they were going out of sync again and the motor was stopping. So, no, you cannot make one 60 amp ESC from two 30 amp ESCs. It's just not working like that. However, I have to admit that I have some fun trying to prove to you that it's well, it's not the way how it should be done. If you want a stronger ESC, just buy yourself a stronger, bigger ESC. Do not try to connect to in parallel. So that's all for today. Thank all my Patreons and YouTube supporters for their backing. You're amazing guys. Until the next one. Bye bye.